Well, hello. Welcome, welcome. What I'm working on today is, uh, well, oh man, it's been a really, really productive last week or two. Man, it's like sometimes when you things are in a state where you just add one little more thing, it just makes it all even that much better. That's what it's been like lately. Uh, what I'm working on now is hooking up lots of different sound events into into making them possible to be procedural later. So um, this is this is something where I'm trying to play the the waterfall sound as a loop in F mod, and then um, transition to a new area and have it kind of fade out a little bit. And then by the time you get two areas away, it's all the way faded out. Um, so to do that, it's just um, I'm making it so the F mod or the way that my engine my outer layer of sound engine code works is to um, it can either play a sound event or a regular wave file or whatever just a regular sound shot whatever you want to call those a channel a <coughs> effect or whatever um, both of those can be played like an the F mod has these event colon events and basically either one of those can be played given just a file name and it automatically detects. So that's what I'm working on. Um, basically just making that both those systems integrated so that it doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna get in the zone here and code and maybe talk a little bit, but mostly just not talk. <laughs>
might have just all worked on the first try take away well yeah start progressively taking away more breakpoints until I'm sure everything works I don't think I've seen stop sound effect yet we don't need this that's pretty that's working I think that's good Okay, so we've got two events here, two FMOD events. There's the world, which is the song you hear, and then there's the waterfall, this ambience, which is its own sound event. Which we should be able to, it should start fading out. Oh yeah, it's working. The waterfall's getting quieter. Ah, and now we've gone to these other, this other area, it's gonna stop this. We're adding new by loops. Remove the no longer needed loops. Cool. Good. So it's stopping it. Let's see if it finds it. That sound ID was 9001. Got the event name. Nice. Stop the sound event. It's totally fine. Oh, 
All right, that works too. Nice, we have silence here. It should start it again. Yes, works. We got a nice little waterfall sound here. It's quieter. Let's see if it's at full volume when we come up here. Yeah, good. Should be even louder if we get near it. Able to hear it this way. This is sweet. This will really help. Um, this would be really cool to use for things like uh, I have this one enemy. Well, this secret. Well, it would be a guitar playing enemy. Or not, yeah, not an enemy, but an NPC. It'd be perfect. So you could hear him playing guitar from a or a different screen, and it can still be an F mod event, meaning it can have procedural intensity and um, index and all the other kinds of factors that make the sound really sweet. Beautiful. What else would I need to test there? I saw it stop, I saw it start. Oh, yes, nice. This is transparent. We can transparently use either one of these systems now. We never paused. It's probably because the game scene does not pause those loops. Or does it? Wait, it, does. it would. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait. We got this. Let's run it. And you just pause the game. It should pause all the loops too. Good. Faded it out nicely as well. Breakpoint. Oh, because it fades them out, that's right. Okay, we can just watch that happen. Okay, cool, this is a good thing to test. I think it does work because we just heard it fade out, but just to walk through the function, make sure this is all functioning correctly with these special new sound IDs which reference events. Transparently, yeah. Sound fade. Got a sound ID duration. All oh, right, it's going to call that set volume a bunch of times and then stop sound. Nice. Okay. And it stops. All right, I'm pretty sure that would work too. Wow, 
Alright, happy with that. Cool, let's get this checked in. So that was a change to area, area patterns, kit. Oh, not area. Not area patterns, just kit first. All right, so kit, let's like take a look at this. All right, the event IDs, they're 9,000 to 9999. And the regular IDs are just starting at zero, so that should be fine. This checks if a string is an event. Okay, now I think I'm actually gonna move this into its own file. This is a lot of code. Kit is 4,700 lines. I bet you a thousand of them at least is the sound.
Oh yeah, we're almost to a thousand lines. Wow, that was over a thousand lines. All right, let's cut that. Make a new file called Kit Sound. And in kit, we can just include it. So it builds like a Unity build, but at least it's in its own file. Kind of the best of both worlds. Except, except for this one little caveat that it doesn't recognize, or at least Vim doesn't recognize strings and other kinds of things like that. Or does it now? Look at this. It's, there's no errors all of a sudden. Hmm. That's weird. But anyways, okay, let's see if that... Let's just make sure that compiles, I guess. So that faded out nicely. Let's just ver verify this works by changing a little bit of this code um, in say, play sound. So it'll still start the sound event, but it'll just return zero. So we'll have the waterfall sound, but we'll have to, well, when we walk away from it, it won't get quieter and it won't stop. Yeah, that sounds pretty loud. And it hasn't stopped. Cool. So let's undo that. Recompile. really neat. Okay, well, now that that is done, um, I can finish these last little things. So I was basically, I was creating this ambience waterfall event. So instead of it playing a wave file, it just loops over and over and over. 
this waterfall event is kind of unique because it can play sort of an intro sound. This is where it fades in nicely. And then it can loop over the section that's louder. So this fade in and the fade out can be ignored if it's just looping. Since it's just white noise, you can kind of loop it pretty easily as long as the volume is about the same at each loop point. Um, and then next thing, um, so that we got that waterfall event. There's also cryo event where you go into Bell's cave. There's also the cave event. And I think all those are done. I already checked the cave. We use that once. Let's make sure. What's different still? Nothing? No. Oh. So that just files changed around. Oh, this. Oh. Yeah, so Sword V Sword Z plays the cave. Bell's cave plays the cryo. Oh, we can delete this. We don't need this waterfall thing there or that. Okay, the last thing I want to do is make sure that the caves still work. So if I go into cave, it should still play the world sound. Oh, there's a cave right behind this waterfall. Very nice. Okay, so yeah, it plays the cave event here. Cool. Go back out, it plays world. 
You know what? Actually, the second time you go in the cave, it should play the world event. It should not kill that. So, event cave, if you're at the sword Z, but only if you, what's that, if you don't have the sword, yeah. All right, there, so you should only play cave if we don't have the sword yet, which is the very beginning of the game where it's supposed to be silent. It's got this little cave ambience it plays once. Other than that, if you've already if you've already started music, you've already started the whole quest and everything, it should, it's already playing some overworld music, it shouldn't stop, it should just muffle it. So we should go down here and it should muffle out. Yeah, there we go, that's what we want. Let's see that with a new save file. All right, so we've got silence playing at first. place. It's quiet except for the rain. And if we go in this cave, we should play the cave ambience, which is a pretty quiet thing. It's almost like you're playing silence. Yeah. Okay, if I go back out, let's we'll see what happens. Still, it's like playing silence. It knows. Game knows. Let me go back out in here. Okay, let's get the sword. Let's make sure all this sequence works. Faded out the cave. Oh, this is not played via sound event. Let's fix that real quick. That should definitely be a sound event. And everything is, yeah, everything should be checked in so far. So that was um, phase lip sword.
Hmm. Where does it play the sound? Song of the Sword. Oh, it's in Walk to. Okay, instead of doing it this way. Music system, fade. Music system, set sound, set file name, music file. Event, song of the sword. Music system, play.
So now I'm just hooking up this Song of the Sword here into F mod. So we can do cool stuff with it later. What tempo is this? Sixty nine point five four. Let's get this built. Okay, we got Event Cave, and now as soon as I go pick this up, it should fade out Cave and play Song of the Sword. Oops. Hmm, what did I do wrong there? Oh, it might have... Oh, actually, this might work. Okay, well, I just gotta watch it. Whatever that's going on in the music system would cause it to cancel. It's easier just to set a breakpoint here, and then when it triggers this, then set another breakpoint. See when it's stopping.
Okay, now I got a couple breakpoints ready to catch this. What's going on? Fade. There, it's happening. Oh, for play. Oh, I'm a, I'm a dumbass. Didn't need to call fade there. Anywhere else? No. Oh, see, this sort of game also has it. There. I knew I set that breakpoint for something. Let's try that again. Without the breaks. if that was too quiet. Felt too quiet. But it's at zero. I guess there's a music volume. Oh, now I have the sword, so it's not going to play it again. Which means there's one little bug there that... Oh, and flux open. It should set the, when it creates the area, it should set the music systems. Uh, muffle. to oh, there's yeah
I guess if you die at the very beginning, it shouldn't play. Okay, I got it. You can just do it in set ambience file name. Okay, if you don't have the sword. Or we are opening. Cool, we start the cave. Yeah, we go into straight into the fight. So if you die during this first fight, the music is still gonna be all subdued and quiet until you fight this boss. And you get out of this cave and it plays the first melodies and stuff. Let's see that again from the start. Don't have the sword. Get rid of that. There. Oh, wait a minute, we can just 
just take a look at how loud is this song of the sword? This is not loud. I think I need to boost the volume a bit. Oh, negative seven. I'm just going to set a little limiter on this track here. Okay, let's see if that affects this whole sound. Oh, totally did. Nice. That was just this. This was peaking a little too high really boosting the overall volume a little bit too much at this one tiny point. So this is just a nice little refinement to make sure that doesn't get too wild. Let's render this new song of the sword. Export. Oh, it was probably not at 48 before this either. F mod asset, song of the sword, override. I saw the sword.
Nice, that was a very good intro there, and all of it's hooked up into the F mod now. We got a lot of power there, potential. Let's get this, those two things checked in. Oh, whoops. All right, what's next? What's next? I want to do one more overworld song. Let me check my Trello. Got Bell's Cave hooked up. Oh, the outro and the Opus 4. Outro is super easy. Let's get that. I might have already done that, actually. Oh, both the intro and the outro need to be events. Okay, let's get those. Hmm, first thing I should do is check the volume first. Okay, we'll check this volume just as a sort of rough measurement by listening to it just to see how about how loud it is. Okay. Now I'll start moving everything over.
3.66, interesting. I wonder what this other intro is. Some old thing. Forty two point six six. There's nothing else to do to this. Okay, so I'm going to give the both the intro and the outro derived from this phase cutscenes. I'm just going to give both of those a bank so they can load whatever bank it needs. Okay, another thing, when it's done, it needs to unload the bank. Oh, 
Well, maybe it doesn't need to do that. Okay, let's see how that goes. Hmm, something messed up. Oh, I think I forgot to build it. Seems about as loud.
if it's smart enough to have let go of its assets. Okay, we loaded intro bank, loaded overworld, loaded boss, old banks, intro bank, current banks. Unloaded bank, intro bank, automatic. Very cool. Didn't need that anymore. Yeah. Sweet. Didn't need automatic management of banks. Sweet. Okay, I need to make sure one more thing. If we stop the intro soon, we cut it short, it should fade out nicely. Okay, now let's make sure the outro works. Well, let me, we gotta have the outro. Cool, the outro is the intro. Good. Nice. So that's all hooked up. I can go change the outro and make it cool later. But at least it's hooked up in it. So I don't have to recompile any code in order to have some new music later on for that. Um, outro, how do I skip to the outro? There's one way I could do it, that's um, Put on this, turn on this extra story element thing. And go to the tower and have ending corny three. It's a uh, zero one ninety eight and ending. failed. Oh, maybe because it hadn't loaded the bank? Wait a minute, no, that's the wrong one. Wait a what? Oh. Yeah, I think it just belongs there. Oh, something else silenced it. Um,
Hmm. It probably just has a silence timer. Yeah, from something else. Okay, as soon as we start this, we need to kill the silence. Go ahead and check that in. Uh, uh, there we go. Cool, so the intros and outro can load banks automatically, play their sounds, use the music system so the banks get unloaded automatically. They use the music system so they can fade nicely. And outro has its own sound now.
to not load the brain roar. Brain, how did you not, what happened to you? You part of brain? Where are your brain? Said its own silence timer. Damn, that was a long wait for a, for a fail. Okay. Um, silence timer. One
Unfortunately, this change means that I gotta go retest all that. Um, now let's test the intro again. that wrong? It's not 124, it's like I'm... Oh yeah, I got that wrong. <laughs> Minute 24, right? Yeah, so it's 84 seconds. So even though at the end of these cycles it sets the music silence duration to zero anyways, I just got this to more accurate number anyway, just in case. I don't know.
Okay, I'm checking this part in. All right, well, two more tracks to hook up. One of them is the credits, which I'm just gonna duplicate world at first for that.
All right, so I've got it to play credits now instead of the overworld. So if I want to go back later and add some custom credits music. system shows oh, how does it do its set parameter old parameters I think this is just tracking just for the debug old parameters yeah this is tracks the debug okay so every time we set a new music file Isn't empty. And it's not equal to the new music file. All right, so now when it goes from playing like the before boss 
It has all these parameters depending on the area, and then it'll go into playing the outro, which doesn't need any of those parameters. And it'll be a little more accurate for what it shows there on the debug. Started putting some new parameters up. It's weird, it's just like it crashed. Well, I think this is good enough to shake in as it is.
Okay, never mind. Enough of that. Well, I guess it's gonna be it for today's stream. I got a lot of new tracks all hooked up via FMOD events. So the real the point of all that is just so that you know I can add I can add music or there's the music's already hooked up into the code so that I can add stuff later without recompiling the game. So I've already got like a track ready for the credits and everything like that. And, I could even make it procedural so the credits would be, you know, different depending on the world seed or whatever. So there's a lot of power we have that's possible with this, um, having things hooked up here in the FMOD. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.